Senate President Ahmed Lawan has said that the ruling by the Federal High Court in Abuja won't stop the National Assembly from amending the Electoral Act. The court delivered a ruling on Monday by Iyang Eko. On an ex parte application by the PDP, it barred President Mohamed Buhari, the Attorney General of the Federation, and the Senate President from tampering with the newly amended Electoral Act 2022. The court maintained that the Electoral Act, having become a valid law, could not be altered without following the due process of law. President Buhari, in a letter dated 28th of February 2022, requested the National Assembly to amend the Electoral Act. He drew the attention of the Chamber to the provisions of Section 84, Subsection 12, which, according to him, constitutes a defect that's in conflict with extant constitutional provisions. Judge Inya Eko, in a ruling on an ex parte application by the Opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, said the Electoral Act, having become valid law, could not be altered without following the due processing, due process of law. Specifically, the court restrained President Muhammad Buhari, the Attorney General of the Federation, and of course the National Assembly in the suit from removing Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Act. We cannot stop us from making laws. The problem with the letter the president sent was that there was a part of it that interpreted the law. And I think that is the only part that the court can act on because he said that the law we made is ultraviolet the constitution, which is not his responsibility. And I think to that extent, the court can comment on that one, but not on the fact that we are making law. I think the, the argument you have raised is valid, but this point we present in court to discharge that order. We cannot sit and appeal here on appeal on a matter that has already been given an order in court. So I think that we should exercise caution in, a, in sitting the judgment over a matter that a decision has been given, or at least an order has been given. What we need to do is to brief our lawyers to go and discharge the order. Instead of sitting here and then we say that uh, we are disobeying court order. It's not good for us, it's not good for our system. That is calling for anarchy. Go into the exclusive preserve of the other. If the judiciary wants to come into the legislature and decide when we sit and when we don't, then there's anarchy. If the judiciary will simply say we are not to consider this and that, and we obey those kind of rulings, that's anarchy. Because it's emasculating the, the legislature, and that's not supposed to be. So we will continue with what we are supposed to do because that is our calling. We are just advising that the judiciary should please help us develop this democracy. Because this arm of government is the least developed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.